Good evening, everybody. Welcome to another Adobe After Effects CS6 tutorial for the new Boston. And my name is Buddy Blackbird. Today, we're going to be talking about scale. And uh, I saw in the comments on some of the other videos, you guys are wondering where Bucky is. You're wondering if he's alive. Well, I can assure you that he is. We just took a picture the other day. I pulled up so you guys can see. And uh, we were just ha out having a cookout, um, grilling steaks, grilling chicken. And I uh, just decided to take this picture of us. That's me in the front, and that's Bucky over here. And this face right here. Pure enjoyment. Wow, he's so happy. Well, now that you guys know he's alive, we can uh, rest easy and uh, start getting on with our next tutorial. So, let me show you guys how to do a couple tricks of scaling. And uh, first off, the an easy way to scale is by these uh, handles right here. Just like in almost any program, you can use these handles to scale. And uh, usually you, you want to take one of the corners because you can always, you can go anywhere with a corner. If you hold shift after you've already dragged, it'll stay proportionate. Most of the time you don't want to squish. Most of the time you don't want to squish things. So uh, try to stay proportionate for mo most of the things. A, a client doesn't usually like it when you disproportionately scale their logo or something that they created. So another way to scale is um, in the transformation menus down here. So you press S on the keyboard to get to the scale menu. We can type in different values and it'll scale according to the percentage that you uh, put in. Same with, uh, you can click and drag, same with the uh, opacity and position, you can click and drag and if you hold shift, it'll go fast. Both of the X and Y scales <clears throat> are currently linked so when you move one, it moves with another. Now the way you can get it to not do that is clicking on this little chain right here. That breaks the link and now you can scale each uh, coordinate individually. Um, a trick that I learned um, with uh, scaling is that you can invert or flip your image. So if you want to flip over the y-axis come over here onto the X and hit negative 100 and it'll flip it the other way then you can go ahead and link it again and now you can scale them facing this way now if you would like to uh, flip that back you just change that back to regular 100 and then you, so you can see Now, if you click on your layer and have it selected, and you hold Control Alt, and you press F, I got click on it. Control Alt F. It will fit the uh, image to the comp. So I can undo it, and it says Undo Fit to Comp. So that is what that is called when you hold Control Alt and press F on the Mac. Um, command instead of control. Pretty much any time uh, I say control, I'm using the Windows version, and that's uh, um, almost the only thing that's different between a Mac and a Windows is instead of pressing control, you're going to press command. So if you have a Windows, or I mean, if you have a Mac computer, when I say control, just think of the command button. 